Okay, uh, we're doing an installation here of Iron Edison nickel iron batteries. We've got the TN 500. It's 500 amp hour, 1.2 volt cells. And I'm in the process of bolting them together. So, we go to Page two, page three, was that page four? Okay, talk about battery connections here, um, but it does not show a spec for torque or what the size of the socket is that you need to. These nuts on these things are just gigantic. Um, so we go to, what is this, page 9, and what looks like a section heading, I thought this was like a section heading, but it says torque all battery connections at 35 foot-pounds or pound-feet. So there's our number on page 9, and then it does not specify the socket size, but fortunately, uh, when I opened up the, the kit with the gloves and the glasses and all that stuff, they have this puppy in there which I was so glad to see. Um, this is what you use to tighten the things, but as you can see, uh, this is not gonna work very well with a uh, torque wrench. So I've got a nice torque wrench here. It's from, almost from my childhood. Um, so what I had to do, uh, unfortunately I had a piece of rebar that was smaller. I don't know if you can see that or not. Inside there, okay, there we go. Um, there's a, this thing is, is jammed into this socket. Uh, and I found a piece of rebar that was uh, small enough to fit on that stud, I guess. And I gently tapped it off with a small hammer by, by standing the rebar upright and then placing this on top of the rebar and then tapping around the outside of the, uh, on the top outside of the, um, of the uh, socket and you can see where the tap marks are. Um, so I went round and round and round, tap, 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 and then praise the Lord that thing came off. I was so happy to see that and it fits on my torque wrench. No, I, I was like, that made my day. Um, so there you have it. And then one of the things that they say in the, in the directions is to uh, make your space, so when you put the bar on here, you want to space it so that, you know, this limits the, so you push them apart until this stops the batteries from moving any further apart. So what I did was I jammed a piece of wood. I found some bits of wood here laying around. And I jammed that in here to push that. You know, once you put, place the bar and then put the wood in there, jam that. And then um, have another piece of wood here. And I jammed that in here until they wouldn't move any further. So this was locked in. These two are locked in. Then put the little washer on it, put the nut on it, and then torque them down. And that, and Lord willing, that should be enough. You've got enough uh, space here to get all of those batteries to fit with that kind of spacing. So hopefully uh, we'll be able to get them all in there on that rack. So this is, uh, again, this is a 20 cell. So i got a lot of work to do today. and. Uh, so, Lord willing, we'll get this done and no accidents. And also, I placed the insulators on here to, so that there's no exposed conductors that could have a potential difference when I'm torquing down because the, the wrench is just, you know, it's just bare metal. And I've dropped it once before, and, and it was a dangerous situation, to say the least. So be careful. Um, maybe I should even wrap that in electrical tape just to be extra safe. Okay, have a great day.